All right, in a recent episode of Marshman Mass On, you saw me come into these protected canals on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain, specifically the Eden Isles community, and catch just a ton of white trout. Well, I'm back again to see if we can catch some more of these fish. So I'm gonna show you my fish taco recipe. This is how I've been making fish tacos lately, and it is perfect, delicious. You will definitely wanna do this. Stay tuned. All right, there's a bait that worked for me so well my last trip. It's a Limbo Slice Matrix Shad on a 3 8 ounce Death Grip Jig Head. Let's see if that's what they want today. We'll see if we can locate the fish jigging. If not, we we'll, might drag some baits through here, just trolling. Let's see if we can figure out where they're located. Oh, oh, there's a fish. First hit of the morning. Let's see what size he is. The fish in the last video were really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a good fish. It's a good solid keeper. We'll be good in our fish tacos. See if it was a school or a fluke. Oh, another hit. Missed him. Come on, we'll miss you again. Maybe I will. Oh, goodness. There he is. Didn't miss him that time. Feels pretty decent. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. Not the size of the ones I was catching the other day, but not bad. Fish tacoable. There he is. Lost him. I gotta remember, you really gotta slow down your retrieve after you hook these fish. These white trout have such tender mouths. They're really great. They're masters at pulling free. I'm fishing a medium power rod with a fast tip. Probably over, no, it's definitely overkill. Good thing with, oh man. Good thing with this setup, you can really feel those subtle hits. This is a Akuma tournament concept. Goodness. But once you hook them, you do lose some fish. I mean, I should probably be throwing a medium light. And probably some light line would be better than this 30 pound soft steel braid. <laughs> Goodness. I'm getting tattooed. There he is. Oh, shoot. Lost another one. And another one. Oh, that feels like a decent fish. He's definitely furious. Oh yeah, real good. Oh man, real good white trout. Look at this guy. That might be a two pound white trout. That's a beast. That is a beast. Look at that. Yeah, he was hooked very well. Can't even get the hook out. There we go. Whoo, man. That's a big white trout. Oh, that was close. Everything in this boat is soaking wet. Real heavy mist today. It's kind of fogging up. It's supposed to be sunny and windy. That's why I came in here. I really could have gone anywhere with this weather, but this is hard to pass up. This is so easy. Man, it's just it's just carpeted carpeted with white trout this doesn't feel as big as the one we just caught but we don't need many for fish tacos these will work perfectly try not to fall todd stay on top of your feet oh goodness just how many do you want to catch? How many do you want to catch? Not a giant fish, but these are really, really good to eat. And they're not nearly as hard to clean as people claim they are. And if you don't freeze them, the meat does really well. And I don't ever freeze fish, ever. So I don't really care how well they freeze. And here comes our wind. I knew it would come. 
Well, there we go. That feels like a good one. That feels like a really good one. Oh yeah, good trout. Good white trout. You see the sores on the bellies of these fish. Good indication that they're hugging the bottom. Definitely not getting any bites suspended. You gotta be on the bottom. All right, I don't need very many more for our fish tacos. I think I am gonna have Joel over to be the taste tester. If you're not a regular viewer, Joel's, oh, Joel is my son. Used to fish with me all the time, but he graduated college, got a big boy job, and <laughs> now he just has to watch Marshman Mass on videos. There's our wind. I knew it was gonna blow. Right in my face. Believe it or not, I made a cast and did not get a bite. Man, I was fixing my camera. <laughs> this fish smoked me. Feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, good whitey. All right, ooh, lucky to get him. All right, all we need is one more for our fish tacos. Hopefully it comes on this cast. I know I could sit here and just wipe these fish out, but I don't really want to do that. Just gonna catch enough. Oh, goodness. Man, that one pulled a little drag. Whew, that wind's gotten crazy. I hope I get to see this fish. He smacked me. Oh my goodness, beautiful white trout. All right. Look how big this fish is, look at this. Man, I wish they all hit it this deep, but never lose a fish. Look how thick. Look how thick this fish is. Two beautiful fillets, and he's the last one. That's all we needed. All right, just a crazy morning of fishing. Just fantastic, so much fun. Even in extreme conditions like we now have today, you can catch plenty of fish this time of year in South Louisiana. Just gotta get in these protected canals, explore, make a lot of casts, and figure out where these fish are. This was a lot of fun, but eating them's gonna be even more fun. Next time you see me, I'll be in my kitchen. All right, now here we are in my kitchen. My son Joel is here helping me to shoot this. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients you need for the fish tacos. You probably will have to go to the store. It's nothing that you probably have in your fridge already, but it's worth it to make a trip to the grocery to get this stuff. So let me show you what we got. We got a bag, just a bold classic coleslaw. This is available at most grocery stores. Got some daisy sour cream, some blue plate mayo, and this is chipotle sauce. Actually, what I mostly use is adobo. It's smoked chipotle peppers in kind of a sauce. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I use that. Just depends. This is really, really good stuff. So is that. That is really spicy. It's definitely spicier than this. Today, I just decided to go with this. So 50-50, whatever you like. And then we've also got cilantro. This is not essential, but cilantro makes everything better. It's kind of like crab meat and bacon. Put cilantro in this it'll make it a whole lot better than if you don't use cilantro. All right, as is typical, I really never measure anything, just kind of go off a of feel. We're gonna start off with the sour cream. We kind of want to get about one to one sour cream and mayo, about that much sour cream, and then equal parts mayo, about yay, maybe a little more. That's enough mayo. Now cilantro, obviously you want to wash it. I use a lot of cilantro when I cook. First thing I do when I get it home is I wash it, so this is already washed. Just gonna cut some off the top. I really like cilantro, so I use a lot. Then we're gonna use our chipotle sauce. And you just kinda do this to taste. About that much to start. I may end up adding a little more. Mix all this up. It's really good, but I think I want a little bit more. About like that. Now I'll warn you, if you use those chipotle peppers and adobo, taste it frequently because the stuff is really, really spicy. If you don't like a whole lot of spice, you wanna really take it easy on that stuff. Mmm, that is, that is delicious. Only thing it needs is salt and pepper. All right, put some salt in there. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have no idea how good that is. I wish I could tell you. Joel, taste that. Tell me how good that is. Mmm, that's so good. It's delicious. So Joel and I both washed our hands before we started doing this, so obviously our hands are clean. All right, next step, we're gonna put our coleslaw in there. Put the whole bag. Mix that all up. All right, that's it for that. I do that first before I even cook my fish and I stick it in the fridge just so it stays cold. I promise you this is gonna be like, this is the absolute key to this dish is this slaw, so make it right. All right, I'm gonna put these on my smoker, on my Traeger. All right, so I like to set this thing to its highest possible temperature, which for this Traeger is 450, so that's where I set it. We're gonna let it preheat and then come back and put our fish on, but first we gotta get them ready. I like to put these on a foil boat. White trout are not very dense, so they kind of break apart. You can't put them directly on the grill, so you put them on this foil boat to kind of hold them together. So I'm just folding up the sides to hold all of the, the oil in. That's our foil boat. We're gonna cover it with avocado oil. You can also use olive oil. I don't like using like mazola, corn oil, all that type of stuff. Olive oil or avocado oil is definitely the best. You gotta put a pretty dense layer so your fish don't stick. It takes a good amount of oil. Now I'll tell you this, there's any number of ways you can prepare the fish for fish tacos. If you like fried fish, you can definitely fry them. Actually, those are the most delicious way to make them, no doubt about it. But this way is really, really close. Obviously healthier than frying the fish. That's the route I like to take, but if you're a fried fish person, go ahead and fry them. All right, here's our fillets. You definitely always wanna put these skin side down. Obviously the skin is cut off of these. You don't wanna put them belly side down because they, then they tend to curl. You wanna put them skin side down. All right, I'm gonna end up doing two batches, but I'll show you what I do to these. Just some cracked black pepper. And some kosher salt. If you don't have this, you can use table salt. Kosher salt is so much better. Definitely stock this in your pantry. Keep it in there and use it often. I use it absolutely all the time. Just sprinkle it in your hand and use your other hand to scatter it on the fish. So much better than table salt. It's far more coarse and it's it's just kind of crunchy. It's like biting into a pretzel with coarse salt on it rather than just table salt. Way better. Now, salt and pepper is fine. You can get by with just that. I also like to use some onion powder and a little bit of chili powder. All right, here's the fish on the foil boat. They're gonna go onto the Traeger. Now, if you just have a standard grill that works perfectly fine, just get it hot. You wanna cook these fish really, really quickly. It can take about, I'm gonna say eight or nine minutes. That's it, that's all it takes. All right, there we go, we're done. And you can tell we're done by the fact that this fish flakes when you push it. It doesn't hold together. So what we can do now, Take our sheet pan, slide it under our fish, bring it inside. We'll come back and get those in just a second. All right, we got some corn tortillas here. Different taste substantially from the flour tortillas. I like these a lot better. Not everybody does, some people prefer the flour. But I started my cast iron skillet a few minutes ago, got it nice and warm. Throw a couple of these in there. Now Joel spends all his time holding the camera, but the advantage for him is that he gets to be the first one to taste these. So they're gonna be ready in just a second. He's gonna be eating some fish tacos. Turn this up a little bit. Get our corn tortillas warm. Let me get a plate. That's good enough. Good enough for Joel. Get a fish filet. As you can tell, they're falling apart. Super tender, that's why you gotta put them on that foil boat. Doesn't matter for the fish tacos. Presentation is not important, obviously. All right, throw some slaw in there. All right, now I'm gonna man the camera and Joel's gonna sample our fish tacos. So Joel, I know you've had these before. I know you love them. You gotta tell me if these uh, compare. Mm. That's delicious. 
fish is perfectly cooked, and the slaw makes the taco. Very good. Delicious. All right, now it's my turn to eat a couple fish tacos, and I can't wait. I've made these a million times. They're really so good. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or in my kitchen, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Where's my fish tacos?